So in this second video, I'm going to break down the forensics of what happened, the things that we thought we saw, and the things that actually did happen, and how we can analyze them after reviewing the video over and over and over and over and over again, how we can see that what we actually, um, or what we thought we saw was not actually what happened. And so we can kind of show a little bit of proof here how unreliable humans are when it comes to eyewitnessing things. We even have a first-hand account. If you go look at Bill's video, I'll post that link down below. And you can also find that link up here. And I'll show you that you know, the first-hand account sometimes is not even reliable because Bill thought the truck stopped. Bill thought all kinds of things happened that didn't happen once we saw the video. Of course, it's amazing what he recalls of seeing the truck, of seeing things, and seeing where he was in the lane and all these kind of stuff when the whole accident took, took place in three and a half seconds, or approximately three and a half seconds. So let's analyze it. So here we see it at normal speed. The wreck happens and it takes about three to four seconds. Now we'll watch it in slow speed. At this point, Bill just now hits the rumble strips. The back wheel loses traction. He starts to counter steer, misses the truck. The canopy flips open and hits the back wheels. And then he starts sliding down the pavement. And at about four seconds starts to emerge from the Velomobile. So note the time that it takes to occur. Here we are starting at right at 51 and he's rolled over, hit the truck and slides down the road, comes to a stop and begins to emerge 54 seconds. So it just, this whole thing happened so quickly. So this is the first moment of the traction loss. You can see the back of the velo starting to swing to the left. Nothing Bill can do. It starts to roll up because now the momentum is still going straight towards us here in this video. So he gets it counter steered and he comes like he's, looks like it's gonna come back into control. But it hits, the canopy kind of pops open. There's a lot of twist on the Velomobile. He's still steering to the right because I mean, it's, it's within a second of this happening. And then because of, of the counter steer and everything else, the roll is inevitable at this point. He starts to roll the canopy then strikes the rear wheels of the trailer. Um, the trailer didn't actually run over him, he just struck it and that's what caused the mark on the canopy. And then there's no obstructions left and he just slides. The truck never knew that anybody hit the trailer wheels or anything like that, so it just is, it is what happened. So approximately four after, four seconds after the traction loss, that's when Bill starts to get out of the velo. One more time at full speed. <laughs> so, bearded lady, what the heck did you do? Uh, okay, so apparently there is some rim, rumble strips right down here. I, I didn't see the, right where the, the white line is. See, like that lady almost hit, hit him too. But uh, I hit him right on. And uh, it jerked my right wheel and it kind of like uh, tilted me uh, on, the, on two wheels. And then I tried to compensate and I rolled it onto the left uh, side. And, and there was nothing I could do. He was behind me and I heard a crunch. I thought he got hit by a car and I heard a crunch and I looked back and I saw him, I saw the bottom of his velo and I thought, oh, that's not good. Um, but there was absolutely nowhere for me to stop. If I would have stopped, I would have caused a whole bunch of bikes to just crash right into me. And there was nowhere to pull over. Of course, I couldn't pull out into traffic. So, so that's my analysis of this crash. And disputing what the eyewitnesses said with the video, the video clearly shows several things that we thought we saw we didn't see. And several things that we thought had happened didn't happen. So after, after a thorough review of this, in, in my opinion, and of course this is only one camera angle, you can go look at Bill's video and compare it when you put this video with Bill's video and you can kind of see how 
as as humans, we're we're pretty unreliable as as first-hand account witnesses. So once we've analyzed everything, it looks like this was nothing more than just an unfortunate accident. There was no malice on anybody's part. There was nobody trying to run over anyone. The truck driver didn't not stop on purpose. I don't. I just don't think he saw Bill crash. It literally happened in a, in, a, in just over three seconds. And at one point, you can see in the you know the driver his mirror. It, it, it was probably in the way. He didn't even see Bill if he was even looking that direction at all. Three and a half seconds is that that long to look out your right side mirror, which is where a group of cyclists were cycling beside the truck, and so he was probably watching them. So anyway, that's part two. Stay tuned for part three, where I will discuss why this happens in a tadpole configuration. So thanks for watching and subscribing. Remember, you can subscribe right down there, hit that subscription button, and hit the little bell icon. That bell icon will alert you whenever I post a new video. So until next time, cheers.